Welcome back to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games, and welcome to another day of our Steam Game Demo Festival, where I play a dozen of demos and show you the coolest ones. Today we're going to be playing Seaside Cafe Story, and this is a game where you build your very own well, cafe. We start off with a food stall, and then you're going to become, you know, better and expand and things like that. So let's jump into the story mode. We're playing as a woman. My name is Samstra, and let us begin. Oh, it's raining again. No oh, fun, I want to play outside. Now, now, there's no rush, dear. There's still tomorrow. <laughs> Granny, tell us more stories. Yeah, yeah. You want to hear more? Well, well, can't refuse my sweet little grandchildren now, can I? Let's sit by, by the fireplace. Yay! I'll tell Mama to make some hot chocolate. Now what would you like to hear? Story about when you find baddies. Hey, we've heard about it, right? I know, but that one's fun. Hmm. How about a story set in a warm place? In a little island to the south. Far, far away from the continent. Shall so Granny continue? Yes. Tell us about the island and your adventures there, Granny. Alright. Buckle up, this is going to be a long story. First, let us sip the hot chocolate your mama made first. Okay. In the 50s. The world is recovering from the Second Great War and the economy is booming. As ironic as it made, the war drove innovation and invention, uplifting technological stagnation. It goes way too fast, sorry. Food preservation processing technology used to be exclusively utilized for the military at war, is now being used widely for the food industry all over the world, threatening the traditional way of food preparation and the sanctity of homemade cooking at the kitchen. Cooking Guild form as a recreational organization from concerned chefs all around the world is at the forefront of the fighting against this machination of food and cooking. The war may be over, but the battle is still being fought behind the scenes. That's how our story started. Alright, we've got our two girls. Where are we going? This is our food. <laughs> Our coffee stall, essentially. Uh, I'm gonna click off the outro. Well, this place sure is deserted. But look at the bright side. We're the only one opening a shop here. There'll be no competitors. It won't be easy, but we will manage okay. Don't worry, you got me on your side. The village chief is also nice enough to provide this. He is indeed. Sort of card and cooking equipment, I guess. Oh, right, we're still in initiates. Best to not forget that we're going to be evaluated 30 days later. If you fail, we'll be stripped of our guild membership and we have to pack home, so this is quite important. Let's not beat around the bush, it will be hard as heck to make any business here, but I'm sure we'll make it through. What the seniors said will be evaluated by the building we have, the amount of menu we've learned, and our restaurant's reputation. Alright, let's get started. Now we actually know how to do this, so I'm not gonna read like every every step of this. So in the beginning, you're going to start, we're just going to skip this, uh, we're going to start by picking our recipes. At the moment we only know three recipes. We know fried rice, fried banana and lemon tea. I'm going to order them by beverages, side dishes and main dishes essentially. And then what we've got to do is we got to buy quantities of food for this. Now, the way this works is that every three days each um, ingredient is restocked, so the price changes. And at the end of the day, you have to pay stocking costs for any food that you have left over. So you don't want to buy too much. Because if you do that, you're going to have to pay a lot of money to save it. So let's, uh, at the start, we're supposed to buy three of each. So we're going to do it. But later on, you might want to buy more, but not too much more. I have also find that uh, the game tends to be very... Like, uh, depending... You have weather, for example, which also affects what people like. But the game tends to be very like one food specific, like you start a day and you find that majority of people want fried rice or majority of people want fried banana. It seems to be very much this way. I don't know if it's on purpose or I don't know why, but that's how I found it so far. So let's begin. 
And we'll be playing in the chef mode here. There's also a different mode where you're going to be just a manager and all of this that I'm going to be doing right now is doing automatically. So this person is going to tell me what they want. Well, the problem is they don't always tell you what's in the menu. Like they don't always say, hey, I want a fried bun. They might say, mm, I want something exotic. And you have to guess what you want to give them. Now, if you guess it wrong, it will lower your reputation. So that's pretty bad. But if you guess it right, then obviously they're going to be happy and increase your reputation. So you can also sometimes refuse to say, hey, I don't have what you want here. It can be a good idea because it still costs your reputation, but not as much as if you give them the wrong food. Your reputation will determine how many people come and things like that. Okay, so we're gonna skip. This is all the ladies. Do you have some snack? Okay, so just gonna give you fried banana and hopefully she'll like it. Now at the moment we don't have that many options, so we're just going to try. She likes it, so she paid us for it. Something light. Oh, uh, let's try more information. Sweet tasting side dish. Okay, fried banana. I was gonna give her the lemon tea, so I'm glad I asked. And they also have a timer how long they're willing to wait. If you can give them the food in time, then they're going to be upset. Now, we don't have any more fried banana, so if this guy wants it, we can give it to him. We could decide to leave the shop and um, close this for the day, or we can just keep going and kind of hope that he might want something else. Just going to skip it. Yeah, we're going to give him fried rice. That's fine. We can do that. And we'll see. We'll try probably one more. Yeah, fried rice again. Then we got one more fried rice and then we're gonna finish. Yeah. So this time we got lucky because they wanted fried rice, but they might have wanted things like fried banana and then we would make them upset and our reputation would take the hit. Now keep cost is very low because the only thing we left in stock were the lemon teas. If you had more things, then you would have to pay more stuff. The favorite thing on the menu was fried banana. Okay. Oh, what a day! Sure is tiring, but quite enjoyable, isn't it? Let's see. Yes, we fulfill our own objective. What a great start. Thanks to your talent, Samster. Here it's something I bought for you. An extra stock of ingredients for tomorrow. Thank you. I'm not gonna call her Eliza. I'm gonna call her after one of my patrons. Zemkat. If you'd also like to have your names in the game, you can check out my Patreon if you'd like. Now, we're just going to go back to work. We've got this cooking guild trial, which means that in 20 days we're going to be tested and evaluated, and we have to pass in order to keep going. And then here we've got our objectives. We're supposed to pass the cooking guild trial, but we're going to get more objectives over time. So let's just go back to work. We need to buy more ingredients. We're going to, I would like five fried rice, and we'll go with five fried banana, and let's begin. We keep the lemon tea. They don't seem to want the lemon tea too much. Yeah, so this is telling us about the manager mode. So the way the manager mode works is that you can just like speed up the time and it will make all the decisions automatically. It's easier to manage, but you'll get a less reputation from the customers. We're gonna do the, actually, yeah, let's do the manager mode just so I can show it off. So we can speed up the time here. We do not make any decisions. I don't even think we made a decision when, when the when the cafe is closed. It's just you just let it go and have this mode be normal. And your decisions are like picking up the recipes in between these rounds and um, also like how much you want to have of everything in stock and things like that. Also, there is a time limit for the cafe. You can't have it open forever. Once it's enough time, it's just going to get closed. So yeah, this this is a pretty good feature. I think especially later, like at this beginning, this is not very interesting, but towards the end of the game or later on in the game, I feel like it's going to be useful because you'll have a lot of people. And so this might be like a good way to just kind of manage it and let it let it run. Okay, so we finished it. See, our upkeep cost again is pretty low because we didn't have much food left over. Hey, the ingredients on the market have been restored. So let's go to the market and restock. I found an abandoned table nearby. I think we can utilize it so the car doesn't look so lonely and people could at least hang out here. What do you think? Well, I think it's a great idea, Eliza, but apparently we are not very skilled because we don't know how to place the table for <laughs> coffee and stuff, which is a little ridiculous. Because apparently it's something we need a lumberjack for. <laughs> like, I mean, I would think it's not that difficult. I guess the idea is we don't have the table set and apparently we can't buy it. But it's a bit strange, like really. So we're just gonna place this little flower here, which will increase our, our reputation. It's gonna make people like us a bit more. So yeah, let's let's leave. But don't worry, we'll meet the lumberjack soon. He's pretty nice. 
and he's gonna help us out. Okay. Now next we've got install a table study. We can't do that if we get a wait for the for the guy. Alright, so we're gonna go to work. We need to buy a lot more stuff. We're gonna get I think six of fried rice and six of fried banana. Okay, so just five. Notice that as I increase this, the price of the banana increased to 60 because there was nothing left in the stock. So that was a very, and in three days it will be your stock. So you might want to think like, okay, I might not want to buy it because it's super, super inspector. It's not, not actually going to make you any money because we sell, I don't know for how much we sell the fried banana, but I don't, with the 60, it's probably not going to be profitable. Something to keep in mind. We'll do the chef mode, chef mode again because I like it better. The weather is clear, which is good. One lemon tea, of course. Of course, of course. Oh, I really like this. Another lemon tea. See, like, they, they tend to want the same thing a lot. You'll see. Like, this seems to be like a lemon tea day. Yeah. Just what, what I said. See, these guys said I want a drink, so if he had multiple drinks, you'd have to decide which one is good for him. And he might not like the one that we're gonna hand over. Now, we'll try one more, but I'm, I'm afraid that they will also want a lemon tea, so... Yeah, sorry. Close. Yeah, there's no, and see the upkeep cost is pretty high now so we actually didn't make much money because we had all that food left over but the benefit is if i try to buy more see if i try to buy more it would still cost me 60 so it was actually pretty okay okay but we still had to pay the stocking cost let's buy four lemon tea and we'll do one more day well, i mean we'll do more than one more day but i keep i like the chef more now and now it's raining so we're not going to get that many people that's not so great for us. Something light. What do you want? So, sweet side dish. Okay. Now the, the negative effect of talking to them and asking them for more information is the fact that it's wasting your time. So if there was another person waiting, uh, their time would kind of run out and they would leave. So that's why you don't always want to talk and chit chat. But if it's raining, we're not going to get many people. Also a pretty cool thing about the weather report is 100% accurate. They're never wrong. Because they're geniuses at, at weather reporting. No, like for real, that's pretty. It, it actually says so in the description. I'll show you too. It's pretty funny. It's just like 100% accurate. See, everybody wants fried banana today. Girl, would you like something else? No. She, she doesn't want to be original. Look, I just want to sweet this. There's no need to insult my creativity here. Oh, this guy's original. I mean, I'm wearing my shirt half open in rain. I'm, how can I not be original? Oh, this guy's the same. I mean, the other guy just started a fashion trend, okay? I wanna be on top with fashion. We're gonna leave? We'll, we'll see what this guy wants. Yeah, same. So so, so the first guy's is probably, maybe he's a YouTuber. He's like, you know, out in the rain, your shirt open, eating fried rice. Like, you know, it's cool. It's what all the kids do these days. All the other men are like, okay, okay. I guess that's what all the kids do these days. You know? Alright, so the storm here. There's gonna be a storm, so we don't need to buy that much of other things. We'll buy like... Mm. The thing is, going out with no fried banana is a bit of worrying. Cost me... Let's buy... 77 costs me one fried banana. We'll see how much we can sell it for. Keep doing the chef, mo chef mode. Because I, I think it's like 90? Uh, yeah, fried banana. How much are you gonna pay for me, girl? Of course. Only 48, actually. So it was, it was, so we're losing with the fried banana, so we should have well, just, like, not have any. But at least we're not losing the reputation. So that's technically a bonus because we can hand it out to them. We're losing money, but we're looking good with the reputation. So it's, it's a thing. Oh, fried rice? Absolutely. Absolutely. Banana, sure. Even though it's, I have to pay money f so we can eat it. I didn't ask for a financial report. I just want to eat my food. See, the customers are so rude. They just they don't want to talk to us. I mean, it's stormy. Who wants to chit chat? Oh, let's close. Sure. At week two. Time for week two. Hey, it's the second week already since we started our street food cart operation. Yes, I can read time, Zemka. It's fine. Now I'm sure flies, huh? Look at what I found. Apparently this island have a weekly printed news service. Yeah, but this we can learn more about this island. Have you looked at this week's issue headline? It is said that the next week the island is going to hold a sweet festival. 
Very valuable piece of information. Maybe we can like stock up sweet tasting menu to prepare for next week. And we have a huge profit when the festival starts. Of course, everything is in your decision, Sam, so it's just my suggestion anyway. And this was like, you're the boss. All right, let's uh, let's go get some more stuff. Let's buy seven fried bananas and I don't know five rice, and off we go. We'll do the manager mode this time. Now the thing about Zemcat here is like, she, why isn't she helping me? Especially if you have customers waiting in line, she could be helping me, like talking to the customers. But she's like, nope. Just, I'm just gonna let you do it. Look, I'm the one who comes up with the ideas. I mean, I'm the creative one. I, I check the newspaper every day for you. Like you do the work, and I'm the brain. Okay, that's how we roll. Yeah, see, this was a really, really bad day for us. Very, very bad day. Don't you think we need to expand our mini varieties? We're opening a cafe about currently it's just a street food cart, but eventually we're gonna expand. Alright, so this is going to show us research. Yeah, 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 check the calm down. It's like, did you read the newspaper? You tell me what's in the newspaper, I need to read it. Yeah, I have you for it. You're reading the newspaper for me. That's what, that was the agreement. I do all the work, you read the newspaper. Okay? Oh, it's Lumberjack. Lumberjack is coming. Lumberjack Robert. It's coming. Very slowly. I heard that there's a new food stall open on the less developed part of the tourist beach. Guys have good food. Mm. Reminds me of the old Hindigan Lao. Too bad it's now closed. Since the owners decided to leave the island last year. Well, thank you very much. We're glad that you enjoyed the food. However, there are things that need ironing out. Ah. Uh, what, if we may ask? The place looks so shoddy and abandoned. I think having a better table set and other decorations will make the experience of eating here miles better. Maybe even if you construct a small shack. That, that's that been our intention in the first place. We can't be just content with a street food cart forever. Our plan is to make it into a cafe, restaurant or something like that. Now we're talking. Well, since we've been busy and new to this island... It will take some quite some time to set up what we need to expand, like having a lumberjack or builder that we can ask and all that stuff. I'm looking at one right now. That was smooth. Pardon? I'm the village lumberjack. I can make furniture for you. Oh, right. The name's Robert. And after my make a chance. If you guys ever need a table set or even planning to construct a building, don't hesitate to ask me. My shop is in the village. It's the one with the fishing shop sign. Later on. Why do you have a fishing shop setting for a lumberjack? My name is Zemkat and this is Samstra. Oh, he's already leaving. Um, but isn't that handy? Let's contact him later and purchase some table sets. Now that we're able to purchase new table sets and decorations, try to purchase one and install in our cafe. Alright, let's do that. Let's get ourselves a table set. Alright, we're also supposed to research new food, so click on the research and we can now pick what we want to research. So we need to have one main dish, one side dish and one drink. So let me show you the main dishes. We could either do mixed veggie, main dishes that taste sweet, odd, but we have demands to fulfill. Or something with signature tastes can only be found in this island. We're going to go with, with the sweet dish because um, well, there's a sweet food festival soon, so it just makes sense. Also decorations. Let me grab that table set. Oh, where is my table set? Simple shack cost me 200 reputation and 800 global. I don't have the money for it, but I, I should be able to place the table set. Yes. Cheap table set with flimsy plastic material. Not comfortable, but at least it did the job. I think that does it. Our first table set. It's not much, but it's a start. From now on, we can expect that customers prefer to dine in to give us tips. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a nice new table set and plant decoration? This chair makes our time establishment more attractive. Okay, we could probably later on place one of these, but... We need to suck a five fried banana, five lemon tea for the festival and build the cafe. Well, we're gonna do it later because right now I need to get more money. I'll get more food, I mean. We have six, eight, so we need like, what, four more tea? And let's begin. What does this say? The sweet festival is next week. Okay. Weather forecast. It's, well, it's gonna be stormy tomorrow, so maybe we didn't need to stock up that much, but it's alright. Let's, let's go anyway. 
Not a chef mode again. I have the table set over here. I like it. Come on, customers. Come in here. But it's raining! Why don't I sit outside when it's raining on me? Eat something. Okay. Fried banana? I don't know. But, but you're here, so that's good news. Thank you, Mr. Food Seller. Fried banana again? Seems like when it's stormy, people like fried banana. No, fried banana is not a thing where I'm from. Like, is that a thing where you're from, like, to eat fried banana? It's just, it's not... It's not something anyone would buy. Be like, what? No, I don't, I don't like that. That's not a thing. Fried banana. Also, like, fried rice by itself. Also not something you would normally eat. Like, what? But the lemon tea, lemon tea is like, yeah, yeah, that, that, that will people drink here, but fried by fried rice right is like, no. <laughs> Alright, oh, this was a bad day. This was a bad day for us. It's only going to be raining tomorrow, which is good. So let's just do tomorrow, but we're going to buy one more tea. And go to another chef mode, chef mode. Because, yeah, it's, it's weighing this better than a storm, so we should get a little bit more people. Fried banana, sure, I've got five of those, so we can eat plenty. You can eat to your heart's content. I mean, one is enough, but thank you. I do wonder if they're ever gonna sit here, or if it's just like that they're paying me a little bit more money, but we're not gonna see the animation of them sitting here. Something I would like to see maybe in the full game, if like that they would actually sit there, so it would look like a nice, uh, nice effect, I think. Yeah, more fried banana, okay. That is not happy that she has to wait. I'll give you more fried banana. The only snack I've got right now. So. Main course, great. I've got that. This is looking like a good day. Hope you don't want fried banana because we are fresh out. Favorite menu is not listed, okay. Fried rice, sure, sure, got it for you. Can go I do wonder if we can adjust the prices. It'd be interesting, like make everything a little bit more expensive, especially later once our reputation is really high. Something I would like to do potentially. I made some nice money here, yeah. really well. Finished another objective, and we finished the mixed veggies. So now, and when we can add a recipe here for, okay, not not here. I want to have it like a. Like this is like a column for main food, side dish, and things. So we're gonna put the peanut sauce salad over here. Am I trying to make like mixed oh mixed veggies with peanut sauce salad? Okay, I see. So we'll try to get like three of these. And we'll buy more of this fried banana. Five. And we should still have enough money to be able to build the cafe, right? Can I do that? If I build Tiny shack, very small shack, and accommodate maximum of four table sets and a few decorations. A great starting point for your cafe. That's great. At long last, we have our own shelf. I mean, cafe. A chair feels very spacious, isn't it? Well, now we have such a room, roomy cafe. It's time to think what kind of theme we want to adopt. But we have to remember that certain themes and decorations might either be hated or loved by certain customers. You need to decide who your market segment is. Too much fixation to satisfy everyone might end up backfiring on us. Hey, someone came up to me and said that she's willing to teach us a new recipe for free. You did it since thanks to our growing popularity. And that reminds me, let's populate our empty shack with at least four table sets and two decorations. We need to make our new cafe attractive. Okay, so we need... Well, actually, I don't know if I've got money for that many table sets. Yeah, I've got no money for that. Do I have money for a roof? Roof is 3,000? Okay, I've got no money for roof. Sorry. So we're not really... It's just gonna go to work. Because we, we've got no money. We can get a nice roof. We only have one table set. I'm sorry. Is the table set there or did it disappear? I don't know. Fried banana, off we go. Sure. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna leave. No, okay. Mixed veggies, sure. We can do that. We got it. Rehydrate in this heat saver drink. Okay, well, we'll give you lemon tea. That's good. Seems like a lot of people are leaving because we just 
can handle them this quickly. Maybe later on to get a better reputation, they more than one person might be willing to wait in line. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, that person just left because it was too long. Too long now we wait. Meal with distinct flavor of this island. Well, I don't think it's fried rice, man, so I don't think you'll like that. <laughs> you like that grilled fish. Oh, he actually does like it. A uh, fried rice, man. I don't know if you like it, but if you don't have better preference, he does. Cool. He walks out. I think we don't have much of anything. Yeah, we don't have main course. Sorry. Bye bye. Made some nice money. Now that we have our own cafe building, I want to talk about the most precious element for the success of our cafe, Samstra. Yeah, you guessed right. Our customers. No customer is the same. Each of them are unique in their own ways and taste preference. But generally, we can categorize them by type, of which are most likely to spend more money. For simplicity purpose, we divide them to three tiers, so low, middle, and high tier. High tier customers will spend more money and will be willing to accept highly priced menu, but they don't come as often as the lower tier customers, especially if the appearance of our cafe is not up to their standards. We need to rearrange our table sets and decoration to meet to their high expectation. Tier choice sums that they cater to customers in the high tier category, you rather stay humble and careful. Okay, so apparently we can do the price things. Maybe striking the balance in between is the best choice? Everything is up to you. In order to gauge the power of your cafe to customers, you can refer to the three bars here. From top to bottom is your popularity to low tier customers, middle tier and high tier customers. The more the indicators weight to the right, the more popular they are. Every table sets an equation to a specific type of customers. It's best if you experiment. Right, so does this mean that we do not set up the price, but the customer does? And if we're more tailored towards the higher price customers, they just pay more. And then if a lower tier customer comes, they'll pay less. Presumably, that is how that works. I'm not. I'm not sure, but seems to be my assumption. Regardless, this seems like a good time to end the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments, and you can click on the right towards some other demos that are available during the Steam Game Festival. See you there. Bye bye.